What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about the Nintendo Switch and what the Nintendo Switch really needs in my opinion. Nintendo Switch needs games. That's really it. Nintendo as as a console, the Switch is incredible. As a as a portable, it's unbelievably powerful. Uh, and as a home console, it's revolutionary. It's really just earth-changing when it comes to what Nintendo has actually done with this thing. But the honest to goodness truth is that Nintendo Switch needs games, you know, and, and they need a lot of them. They need third parties more so than anything else. And so it's always good to see publishers bringing their games over to the Nintendo Switch, and especially when it's a publisher and a video game title that's extremely close to my heart. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch Games News. Tekken 7 publisher joins EA in support of the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch fans can expect more games from the makers of Tekken 7. Hopefully it's that game. The Nintendo Switch games list could be about to get a boost as Tekken 7 publisher Bandai Namco pledges to support the console. After failing to back the console with new releases at launch, Bandai Namco will release Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 on the Nintendo Switch this September. This will be followed by one of its Tales of role-playing games at some point in the future, but the Bandai Namco releases won't stop there. In his latest earning report, Bandai Namco promised ongoing support for the newly released Nintendo Switch. Hopefully this means the Nintendo Switch port of recently released games like Tekken 7 and Little Nightmares or perhaps upcoming games like Nino Kuni 2. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Uh, if they put Nino Kuni 2 on the Nintendo Switch, that would be a, that would be the end of the deal. That would be incredible. And even Tekken 7. Uh, Little Nightmares, I love that game. Check out my review of it. It's, it's an awesome game. But te games like Tekken and, and Nino Kuni have a lot more replayability. They're much longer experiences. And if they put either one of those on the Switch, it'd be huge. Maybe it could even include the mysterious Project 1514, which has just been teased on Twitter. So, I mean, it could really be anything new, but uh, hopefully they bring some of the old stuff over. It's worth remembering that Bandai Namco also published Dark Souls in the United States and Europe. There were some reports that the Dark Souls developer from software managed to get the third game running on the Switch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The developer is said to have discussed releasing all three games in the Dark Souls saga on the Nintendo Switch. This would also include all Dark Souls DLC. Dark Souls ports were said to be dependent on the Nintendo Switch sales, which have been so far very strong, extremely uh, strong. So from software, if you guys are going to keep your word, we expect to see the uh, Souls series on the Switch. Come on, bring it over. Bandai Namco isn't the only publisher to jump to the Nintendo Switch bandwagon. EA recently suggested more of its games will be released on the Switch if titles like FIFA 18 do well. Now, I don't know if it will because it's not really the exact same game that people will be playing on other consoles, but hopefully it does. Patrick Sotolin of EA said, quote, We will appear on any platform where there are consumers and players. We believe that we want to be a part of the Switch and help Nintendo grow that install base. That's why you'll see FIFA, which by the way is really good this year. It's a full-fledged FIFA game for the first time, to be honest, on a portable device. So for us, it's about supporting the platform, building technology for the platform, testing it out with big things like FIFA and maybe a couple of others. We'll see. And if they go well, I see no reason why we shouldn't have as much of our portfolio on that platform as possible, end quote. So this is good news. This is what Nintendo needs more so than anything else. You know, I, 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 I adore the fact that, you know, you can play old Neo Geo games on it. I adore the fact that, you know, games like Splatoon are on it. They're bringing Bayonetta to it. I think that's a great idea. Uh, but they need more publishers. They need they need games like this in order for this thing to have sustained success. I think that the Mario Odyssey game that's coming out this year, I think it's probably going to end up being game of the year, to be totally honest. That's what I think. I think that Nintendo, I mean, their pedigree is incredible. The game looks like it's going to be sick, but you can't depend on one just one or two amazing titles every single year. you got to allow these publishers and developers to bring these games over to your platform to give it, to breathe more life into it, to bring different types of gamers. I mean, Nintendo at this point, or 2017, your console doesn't have to be for kids anymore. You know, you can have games that are rated for teen and rated for, you know, people who are older than 12. And so I'm happy to see games like Dark Souls possibly even being talked about coming to a Nintendo console. And I think the future's bright. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. What game would you like to see? We're talking ports. What game would you like to see ported to the Nintendo Switch? What do you think would actually work really well on the Switch that you'd love to see in portable form and be able to play on your TV and basically have the game with you at all times. I've always dreamt of having a portable version of uh, Skyrim or any uh, Elder Scrolls game, so they've already uh, answered my prayer. Uh, that game is going to be destroyed by me constantly everywhere I go. 
but I, I'm, I'm super excited about the future of this thing and I think it's going to continue to do well. You guys let me know what you think. Consider giving a thumbs up guys to show support to help, help a brother out, you know, help my channel out. If you'd like to support me further, consider checking out my Patreon page and pledging your support there. As always, thank you so much for hanging out. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.